Hey, this is just a quick home to video on how to get rid of an alligator lizard once it enters your house. So here we are in Los Angeles and we have a lot of these uh, little four-legged critters with tails. Um, I'm not sure if the actual name is called alligator or if that's just what they were given because when they do bite down and they do look like an alligator with uh, its scaly spine. They're pretty small. This one I have uh, in my house is probably from head to tail about three and a half, maybe four inches long. Um, the unfortunate aspect is it was underneath our range. Uh, however, it's moved from the range to underneath our refrigerator. Uh, since we have a built-in, it is on wheels. It is a little challenging because I don't want to crush the guy because uh, you know that would not be uh, that would not be good. Anyhow, um, I went on YouTube and I started to look at some videos from a few people around the country uh, that have the or had the same problem that I did or do. So here's the deal. Um, you basically take a water bottle and as you can see, I've taken a water bottle, I've cut the top off uh, and inverted it inside. Now my wife is going to be coming in in a moment. She stopped by our local Petco to pick up a couple of crickets. Uh, this is a live trap. Very important. We don't want to hurt these guys. Um, they do a lot of good insects, blah, 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 in our, you know, in our backyard. They keep control of things out there. So I'm going to give it every opportunity that I can. Uh, so we're going to try live trapping with some crickets. What I also have is uh, I took some basic scotch tape just to hold in the, uh, hold in the, um, the top so it doesn't come back out. Also, I did hear from a few people that the plastic body bottles were a little slippery. So what I did is I've taken some tape and I've matted it up just to help him with his little legs to get in here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the crickets. We're going to put a couple of crickets in this. Um, once the crickets are in the bottle, in theory, lizard sees crickets, lizard wants crickets, climbs through hole, and then can't figure out how to get back out. Once, once the lizard's inside, we basically take this outside, um, pull the uh, uh, scotch tape off, and let him go back out into the, uh, into the wild. So um, that's what I got for right now. I'll be adding a little bit to this probably in the next, I don't know, five minutes once I uh, put the crickets in and set the trap. So we'll see how this works. So my wife just got back in uh, with the crickets from Petco and what I've done is I've taken the crickets and as you can see they are in the bottom of the plastic bottle that I originally uh, cut the head off and inverted and put inside. So now the next step is we are going to basically take this trap, I'm going to stick it down here next to the spot where I know he was at. And as you can see, the crickets are in there. They're looking pretty tasty. So let's uh, back out of here for a little while, and we'll pick up this video a little bit later, hopefully with a alligator lizard inside.